Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer and yet another video, another cocktail today. And today I'm a little bit excited. Just a little bit, because time to time I take uh, a little bit break from everything and I just sit down and think about uh, recipes uh, which people usually call them signature recipes. And uh, I presume they are because I've created them, they've never been created. So I don't know how signature it is, but I do have now a little good collection. I think about about 40 recipes, uh, which I'm trying slowly to put in a small collection, which maybe I release one day, but we don't know yet. Okay guys, so the idea of the cocktail came from, first of all, because uh, the aperitif with orange, so that's one of the points. Second, because it's coming from Italy, I wanted to bring uh, more ingredients from Mediterranean. So every single ingredient which is here, you can see I have the aperitivo from Italy, I have Grand Marnier from France, and I have Cardinal Mendoza Angelus, which is a... Uh, Cardinal Mendoza produce fantastic brandy, it's one of the top five brandies in the world. It's somewhere here, there you go. Uh, I've done some cocktails on the channel with Cardinal Mendoza and I've been lucky to visit them in the Bottega, so it's a wonderful uh, place. However, they do also wonderful liqueur based on their brandy with the civilian oranges. So, because it's based on brandy, it's a little bit more strong than the others, but uh, it's fantastic rich flavor of the brandy, like a sherry brandy with the oranges. And uh, that's another, you know, reason I call it an uh, orange. Then little because it's served obviously in a cup glass and a boat because all these three countries somehow have a connection with the Mediterranean, with the boats, with the summer, with the sunshine. You know what I mean? All these kind of a nice, lovely memories on a holiday so you go to Mediterranean and uh, it's just a wonderful place. So I decided to call it the little orange boat. So if you're ready, let me share with you the recipe because uh, if you've seen the title, there's a little twist there. So, here we go. We need a shaker, and first because it's based on the Sterlino Operativo, uh, I'm gonna go as a hero in this cocktail, and this is gonna be 45 ml of the Sterlino Operativo. It's just a wonderful Operativo, you know what I mean? Just, just to sip like this uh, with ice, or if you prefer a little bit of bitterness with tonic, or maybe just with soda, it's fantastic. For spritz, my gosh, absolutely wonderful for spritz. Anyway, so because it's operativo, it's a bitter, it have this flavor of orange, but it's not that dominant, uh, like, you know, when you have macerate uh, fruit in a spirits. That's why I'm gonna bring the cognac-based Grand Marnier, my favorite liqueur. So we have only 15 ml, just to bring this uh, level up of uh, a spirit, warmness, and also bring more the orange flavor. And of course, we need more orange because it's little orange boat. So this is coming the Cardinal Mendoza uh, Angelus liqueur. I will leave a link in the description to all of these uh, uh, ingredients which I'm using. I'm sure uh, Angelus is also available pretty much worldwide uh, on Amazon. We'll see. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you're interested. It's fantastic uh, brandy based uh, liqueur, which you should try if you like brandy, if you like oranges. You gotta go with it. So 15 ml from the Angelus. And finally, my final ingredients, it's the homemade orange sorbet. Now the homemade orange sorbet is basically fresh orange with a fresh orange zest, with a cream and with a milk. So it's everything made at home. Uh, if you're interested how to make it, please let me know. And I may do a video I know, it's not gonna be video because obviously we are a cocktail channel, I don't know, but I will let you know how to make it. Or I'll give you a place where to go and visit to see how it's made. So, three uh, tablespoons, or if you have ice scoops, whatever you have at home, be generous. You need this to bring this creaminess in the cocktail, which it's gonna become when it's shaken. So, three scoops or three big uh, tablespoons in your shaker. And now because it's orange sorbet, it's coming from the freezer, it's cold, 
uh, you don't need too much ice to f obviously cool down the cocktail to chill but you need a one piece of ice at least to help break this sorbet and mix everything together so i'm just using like like a just a one piece of ice or if it's a small ice drop a few of them and you're gonna have to give them a good shake so you can break everything inside and mix it fantastic so let's shake it Ooh. yeah look at that it's absolutely it's freezing the shaker but we need to give this good shake it's a you have to give them a proper like a 10 to 15 seconds shake and you need to have this freezing of the shaker definitely look at that it's absolutely frosted wonderful now for serving uh, any glass will do uh, i'll serve in a coupe glass or you can serve in martini glass you can just you know straight away serve in a small old-fashioned glass and enjoy it it's served uh, without ice so if you want uh, i'm actually tired shaking Whew. So if you want, you can chew your glass or put in the freezer in advance. You don't have to. We'll give it a double strain just because I don't want any of this ice to drop in. And don't forget the sorbet, it's made with a fresh orange zest. So you may not want this, but we still have to garnish with fresh orange zest. So it, it really doesn't matter. There you go. And you're gonna get this lovely, like creamy, like a custard color cocktail. It's not gonna fill up your coupe glass. But that's the idea, you'll see why. Everything is a uh, have idea behind it. So it's not just to make the recipe, it's uh, the presentation, how it's gonna be served and everything. So there you go, we have this ready. Okay, for garnish guys, uh, I have prepared already so we don't waste time, but I'm using like an orange. The, at the moment I have really small oranges. Don't know why, I couldn't find bigger, but usually I prefer to be a big orange. Uh, so you you can have the nice shape of the bolt. So this is the bolt. So you grab one orange and you can put uh, like this on the cocktail pick on the top. And of course, uh, with a small green leaf on the top, could be mint, could be basil, could be anything, just to kind of uh, create the small bolt, you know what I mean? Now that, that's flipping down because, yeah, that's what's happening. I'm not gonna edit, I'm not gonna redo it. It is what it is, it's happening. But if it's a big orange, it's usually gonna stay rim to rim of the glass and it's gonna stay fantastic and the leaf is gonna stay straight up. However, I'm happy with that. And finally, we're gonna zest a little bit orange on the top, just like a few pieces to give it a good uh, impression. Like, first of all, of the orange oil, you're gonna spread around so you have this nice orangey smell. Second is gonna look fantastic uh, on the actual surface of the cocktail and also when you're drinking it you're gonna have a little bit extra kind of a bitterness of the orange and this is it guys uh, one of my new recipes uh, a little orange boat I hope you like it and I hope you can try it uh, let me just give you a quick test uh, note hmm. oh yes It's basically, you know what I mean, imagine you're sitting in the Mediterranean, in your shorts, enjoying the sea view, and like a late afternoon you're having this wonderful, refreshing, orange flavored cocktail, which is basically like you're drinking a sorbet, but it's with intense orange flavor, but very subtle and very nice. It's just so refreshing, and I'm, I'm really proud of this recipe, and I really enjoy it. And, uh, I'm pretty sure you can find all these ingredients, but of course, if you want to try it with something twist on the orange, maybe different orange liqueur or maybe add uh, mandarin napoleon or something different, feel free to try it. However, the sorbet is very important. This is what's going to give you the creaminess and this distinctive orange flavor, because when you make the sorbet and stay in the freezer, it's extract more from the orange juice and the orange zest. So it's, it's a very rich on orange flavor and uh, yeah this is it guys thank you for watching if you're new to the channel you know the drill if you are uh, one of my subscribers thank you for staying around thank you for sharing the love uh, don't forget for me it's extremely important if you hit the like button nothing else whatever else you decide it's up to you I'll leave your free will but hit the like button leave me a comment 
share some funny thoughts or maybe if you try the recipe let me know what you think about it and i'll see you in the next video as always until then stay safe and once again and uh, always i'm gonna say it i love you and i leave you now bye bye